So hey there guys, these are the oil sensors. Um, this is the same picture just from a different angle. The first thing you want to do is check where it plugs in. If there's oil inside the plug, then you know that it's faulty. Now to change this is very simple. All you need to do is, I used an adjustable spanner just because it was easier. Unplug it, put in a new one, plug it back in. Make sure you wipe off the plug, wipe off the oil off it, and then you're good to go. Now that's the main common problem on the courses and they're very simple to fix. Here's my mechanic for the day. Gonna help me sort out this oil problem. So hi there guys, just another car related video here. Have you guys ever come into your car and found that there's either mold in the car or that there's a pool of water? Now for me I found that there was a pool of water down there and down behind the seat and I'm just getting mold into the car. So I'm looking for the problem. I checked the door seals, I checked the window seal. Okay, the car is a bit of a mess, I know, but I've checked it and there's nothing around. So, I wanted some forums and people were saying about these little flaps here. You can see very well, there's this flap here. So as you can see, a little bit of water dripping out because there is some uh, leaves and stuff down there. Let me give you a little close up. Just right down there right down there there's this little flap and there's a bunch of leaves it's just there so what I need to do is I need to get this battery out and then which is that bolt right there and then I take these bolts here I'm gonna show you guys how to do that and especially here you take out this water bottle it just pulls up no clips just pull it up you can disconnect it and then there's leaves behind it you need to remove those and this one's down here now there's a bit of oil leak because this oil sensor uh, was faulty and this is the new one, I changed it. So you need to check that and you check that flap. Those are the reasons why you've got oil. Um, why you've got water coming into your car. Uh, what to look for. So okay, first thing you want to do, long extension, let's get this out. So okay, so we're going to get all the way right down there. First one, take the battery clamp off. Got my elbow. Okay, so let's do this. Take out the battery without losing your stereo code. I've got a plastic bag here and I'm going to take the battery off, right? I'm going to take the battery off without losing the code. So I've got the engine running, I'm going to leave the alternator to do the job for me. Hmm. Now this bit's a bit risky because um, those are positive. Okay. I want to make sure that that positive wire does not touch anything. Okay, there we go, that went really well. So there we go, I just popped it off and I'm wrapping it in plastic.
make sure there is no exposed wire there there's no exposed wire there's no exposed wire that's fine the negative one it's a 10 mil 10 millimeter spanner not all the way just loosen it and then grab it yank it out there we go this wire does not matter what it touches this is earth this is all earth everything here is earth Okay, so it will, it will just about fit through here. So let's get this handle out. Let's go ahead and take this out. Pain to put back, there we go. Just oh, we need to take all of that out. All of this. Right here, all this needs to come out this is possibly why the car is flooding with water from the inside if anyone can advise me on any other situations that they've been in with water flooding into their car see down here is where that flap is so let's accumulate all of this crap here Pull it and get out of your way. Oh, there's some stuff all the way down there. I've known it. You can't really get to it. So just remove what you can. And try and reach down there. There's still a lot down there. I hope this video has helped. You guys can see the oil stains up here all from the stupid um, sensor you know the oil went everywhere so far and I've run the engine and there's not really any oil leaks that's just dripping down trust me if there was an oil leak it would just the whole cardboard would be full of oil so let's pack this up